Kids Explosion Radio. Show, show. Kids Explosion. Right now, we have our special guest, comedian Izzy Real. Izzy, Izzy. What's up, ATL? How y'all doing? We're doing We're great, good. man. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay, so how long have you been doing stand up? I've been doing stand up about five years now. Wow, wow. five years. That was five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what grade are you in? I'm a junior in high school. So, you're about to graduate. You know it. You oh, know. wow. So, are you going to continue doing stand-up after you graduate? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Well, if you don't mind, we would like to taste your flavor. Yeah, oh, buddy. Right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> well, that's what's up. See, I'm Izzy Real. I'm 16. It's hard being 16. <laughs> People look at me funny when I say that, but it's hard being 16. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, you watch World Star YouTube, you see all these kids doing a fire challenge where they set themselves on fire. <laughs> That's how you know it must be hard being 16 <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> you know, they complain we play too many video games. Now y'all see what happens when the video games are not there. <laughs> I remember the first fire challenge I saw. I saw this kid set himself on fire, but he couldn't get the fire out in time. So he was just running around the house butt naked on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the floor laughing. My friend nudged me and say, hey, dude, you want to do the fire challenge? <laughs> I was like, no, you don't see exhibit A right in front of you? He going to hit me with that. Come on, man. You see, that ain't supposed to happen. <laughs> Uh, yes, that is. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. I'm not very good in science, but I know if you put something flammable on yourself and then you light a flame to the flammable, you <laughs> flaminate. That's basic science right there. Tom oh, being 16. I can't stay the I can't stay in the way these kids dress nowadays. Mm. I can't stand looking at these kids every day. Like simple <laughs> stuff. You know how you supposed to dress for the weather? If it's hot, wear long sleeves. If it's hot, wear short sleeves. <laughs> if it's cold, wear long sleeves or a jacket. These kids come to school dressed hot and cold <laughs> at the same time. Wow. I seen a dude come to school. He had on a turtleneck, trench coat, but then had all baller shorts uh -uh. and slippers. Uh -huh. I said, hold up. I had to pull him to the side. They look, like they, they look like they about to shoot up the school. <laughs> had to see they were a little press session before. I see this girl come in right behind him. She had on Ugg boots, spandex, and a tank top. Oh, I said, you about to catch hypothermia <laughs> and a heat stroke at the same time wearing all them clothes in that order. Hard <laughs> being 16. It's hard because, you know, the older generation and the younger generation really be going at it nowadays. Mm -hmm. I know this because I live with my grandma. Now, I love my grandma, but don't you think grandmas can be a little stubborn sometimes? Like, you can't tell grandma nothing. They've been here 50, 60 years. You can't tell grandma a thing. I got to an argument with my grandma over who was the first president of the United States of America. I thought that was an open and shut case. But she called me with a $1 bill and say, Izzy, who this here man on this $1 bill? I, first thing that came to my mind was, Grandma, you waited all this time to ask somebody? <laughs> you been here this long, you just now want to know? <laughs> right. But I told her, I said that George Washington, he was the first president. That's why he on the $1 bill. She said, uh-uh, no, I didn't vote for him. You see, uh, Jesus is the first <laughs> president of my life, and he should be the first president of yours, too. <laughs> Don't you hate when they throw religion into it because you really can't come back to that. You can't say Jesus wasn't the first president. That would be wrong to say. <laughs> grandmas need it too. But grandmas never need you when you around. Grandmas always wait till you leave for them to need you. <laughs> <laughs> I be mean, my grandma wait till I get upstairs to call my name just, Izzy! Oh. Izzy! Don't you hate when they call your name within two seconds like you're supposed to show up in that window of time? Like give her brother time to get back downstairs. So I get back downstairs. I'm like, yeah, grandma, what's up? She go, didn't you hear me calling you? <laughs> you come when I call you now. What I was going to tell you, uh, who this here man on the $5 bill? <laughs> I was like, okay, this is a setup. Uh, it's Jesus. She said, nope, it's Moses. I'm like, how? <laughs> It's crazy out here, but yeah, that's my set. I'm Izzy Rell. You can catch me next week at House of Rhymes TV at the Star Theater at 6 p.m. Here in Atlanta, it's a televised show. So if you want to come see some great talent, that I advise you to come do that. You can also follow me on Facebook at Comedian Izzy Rell. That's I-Z-Z-Y-R-E-A-L. I'm glad to be on the radio show, radio show rocking with my two homies, Miko hey. and Cortez. Hey. We do a show every other Sunday at the Atlanta Improv, next Sunday at the Punchline Comedy Club. Thanks for having me. Thank you.